Both majors off to a quick start. Rolls in this birdie at the sixth. And that would get Strick to two under. He'd also had a birdie at the eighth. And then Steve Stricker, his birdie at the 11th. Boy, his pace and green reads are outstanding. Look at this thing, dead center. Beautiful putt. The Stricker's at 11 under par. He's got a dominant lead. Really makes the most of it. This is way right, though. Way right is not particularly good here, unless he gets one heck of a big bounce. And I think that one stayed up in the rough. Favorite shot, especially with the ball a good foot above his feet. Yeah, and 200 to the front. He just snuck it by that first tree and over the second tree. But still left. That one is going to catch the bunker. Freddie's actually left of the bunker. You wouldn't be mad if you landed it in the fringe, but that's risky. Oh, oh that looks. He made that look way too easy. <laughs> he landed it in the fringe, too. A little bit left or right. I was no. just going to say, I couldn't imagine him missing two in a row, so takes care of business there. Sort of quirkiness to it that, I mean, we just loved going there every year. That has to be good there. Plus, you got to love the uh, old school, old golf courses. Just hit it, don't do anything funny. Huh? I like it. Yeah, he's running after, he likes it, and why wouldn't you? It may be a two. Great shot. Hang on, got a little unlucky, went just over the back of the green, but boy, what a great strike there by Steve Stricker. He finished two shots behind Tom Lehman. Lehman shot 65 on Saturday, eagled 18 to post that number. Eagle chip for Stricker, yes. and why not? Just yeah. rips it right in, off the flag. I think he always intended to chip that in. I was thinking it was a 50-50. It was a little bit better than that. He just went right after it, and he was pretty bold about it. I mean, he jammed that thing in there, didn't he? Up near the green, that is probably his target, right down the right edge of this fairway. That looks perfect. Steve, right up the cut. Steve has only played here at the Principal Charity Classic one other time, and that was last year, where he finished tied for eighth. That ball hit in the very right edge of the fairway and stopped in the left center of the fairway. So look for this out to the right of the hole, maybe hitting the green and spinning down towards the hole. Oh, that's all over it. That's right. Uh, yeah. Leaves himself the only uphill look on the green right below the hole, just straight in from about five feet. What a shot. This is about six feet straight up the gut here. It's like he's playing a one man scramble. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, just he is everything has gone in for him since the rain delay. And he is he is not short with this three wood. I mean, this three wood, he's got a lot of pop in it. Well done. Plenty of room behind this. So go ahead and try and carry it all the way there. been so good at this shot. For him, that's just about average. That's not even great. Put it out there. <laughs> oh. He actually put it outside the edge. Had he put it on the edge, that putt goes down, no question. Flawless round for Steve Stricker. A bogey free. Eight under par, 64. Uh, Steve, uh, tremendous playing, and we will get to that. But when a player wins a golf tournament with a caddy and then shows up with a different caddy the next week, there's generally some controversy involved. Care to explain yourself? Well, no controversy in our family. Izzy uh, did it one week, and she's like, one and done. So, um, and Nikki was going to be on the bag here all along, and, and uh, it's good to have her back, too. It, it's been a while for her and I to be together out there. I was just joking with her. Not hard to caddy for a guy who's playing the way you're playing, sort of point and shoot at the moment. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun, um, doing a lot of good things, um, except for that tee ball and that opening par three when we came back. That was that was pretty bad, but I uh, escaped with a par and uh, you know played played well coming in. Are you playing as well now as you've ever played? You know, I I don't know. I mean, I'm enjoying it. You know, I'm having a good time with it. Um, 
you know, I had a lot of perspective over the last few years. And, um, yeah, so it's just been fun to kind of come out here and enjoy to compete and not really um, – I care, but I, you know, I, I had my time on the tour, and, and this is kind of just bonus, I feel like, and uh, I don't put as much pressure on myself as I did back in, you know, when I was playing on the tour. Coming off of what you're coming off of, winning a major championship, hosting a tournament next week, how hard is it to focus this week on the right here and now? Yeah, not at all. You know, I'm excited to be here. I, um, I enjoy playing. I, I get into... Um, get into the moment when I get out there. That's always the fun part is the competition part and, and try to do your best, right? And, and um, everybody's here to try to play well and win, and, and I'm no different. So it's good to get off to a good start. I haven't had some good starts uh, throughout the year. I've been trying to battle from behind all the time, I feel like. So this, is, this feels good to get off to a good start. Yeah, it's tough. You've only won three times. <laughs> Keep it going, Steve. Appreciate it. Thank you.